That's not my fault. Did you take them out? No, it's your job. What do you mean it's my job? You clean it up. I'm not cleaning that shit up. I'm gonna be in corn to start a vlog. I'm not doing it. Are you kidding me? I'm not doing it, Dad. You need to take her out, but I gotta clean up her shit. You always take her out. I wanna take her out. Oh my god, what the fuck? Anyway, hey there, Jay. Zero Power Jerry's here. Right in the middle of shit. Uh, I was just about to start this vlog off by saying. It is damn relaxing after a hard day's work. Just lay in your bed and chillax. And you get to unwind and you get this feeling that you actually did something. Do you get that, Toe? Like we actually did something, you know? It sounds pissed off. <laughs> it's like, you know, before just doing videos, it's like that's all well and good. I never got that satisfaction, that like fulfillment that I got from today. Like I actually felt like I worked hard, made some covers, made some hat my hats, I made some more t-shirts, which you guys didn't see, uh, I clocked out. And then what the great thing about it is, is I got to leave work and I got to leave work. I left it all in that building. I don't, you don't see me making canvas at home. I get to come home, just relax, forget it all happened. Uh, and now, now the day is mine. So Jesse, Jesse is going to start playing video games, and uh, me and Corn talked about it off camera. We're gonna do a little dual stream for you guys tonight. It's gonna be big. Which we, I don't think we ever done a dual stream. Let's go. Where am I going? Down here. I'm not cleaning up, Dad. I already picked up the shit. Okay. Well, what do you want? I want this room clean. I just cleaned this like last week. Yeah. Remember it's I was wearing a freaking dress? Yeah, and I, I can't I can't stop remembering that one. Look, the carpet's fine. No, it didn't stain no up. That's where the pile of shit was right there. Okay. Well, I want that's it not my up. problem. That's not my problem. Okay. It's our problem. I'm just trying to relax right now. Relax for what? What do you gotta relax from? I'm asking you to clean it up. Do you want me to clear this de clean the fucking deer head too? Leave the deer head alone. What, what even is this? This looks ridiculous. I got plans for that deer head. Don't touch it. What, yeah, what kind of plan? Big plans? You gonna force a deer to get a job too? No, I'm gonna shoot a deer this year and I'll put the antlers on that and hang it on the mantle. Don't worry about what the hell I do. Your mom would have never liked this on there. Your mom's not here. Don't even bring her up again. What now clean the freaking living room. Why? Because I might have people coming over. Don't look at me. Why can't you clean it then if you get people coming? I've been working all day. What have you been doing? What have you what have I been doing? I've been working all day too. Oh god. Don't count the way sitting in the bedroom all day. You don't even know what I did today. Yeah, I got a guest that's probably sitting in your room all day playing video games. We had a deal. What I got a job. You don't have a job. Don't even go there. What, you think I'm joking? Yeah, I think you're joking. What'd you do to me the other night? That was it. And then the agreement, when you fucking destroyed all my shit, was I was gonna get a job. And guess what? This is already my second day, and I'm done. You got a job, I really? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I'm really having a trouble believing that one after the and other night. I'm not night. surprised. I'm not surprised by that. Where the hell are you working? AJ Canvas. Who's your boss? Your mother? Did she get you the job? Actually, mom hasn't even been there. FYI. Where the hell's your mom been? I don't know. She hasn't been there in the two days I've been there. It's odd that your mom's not there. Yeah, no it is. So who's I your boss? Uncle Larry? Yeah. Yeah, he's been showing me all around. He's been showing me the things I gotta do. And it's all really fascinating. I made money. You made money? Yeah. What's he doing, Kyle, when you're there? No. Being your best friend, trying to, you know, just trying to... No, he's treating me like an employee. He interviewed oh, me for it the out. job. He is not an He hired me, and he's teaching me everything I gotta do. I clock in, I clock out. I'm a regular fucking working man. Yeah, how many hours? I don't know collectively. I worked yesterday and today. I don't, I don't know the math offhand. I, I, it's not that hard. I worked, like, I worked, like, four, I worked like four hours today. 
Four hours today or four hours the last two days? Four, four hours today, thanks. Four hours? That's like a half or a third of a normal person's day. I'm learning, it's training. There's yeah, a lot of things, it's a specialty it's skill. Day. It's a specialty I skill. I don't want so. you working there. Why the hell not? I don't want you working there. Well, guess what? It doesn't You're matter. better than that. It does, okay. It doesn't matter because it's a job. No, I fulfilled no, the contract. I, I fulfilled no. our deal. Yeah. Shut your mouth. I'm talking to you. I don't want you working there. You better have You go to, don't. You go to college for four years, you get a bachelor's degree, and then you're working in a canvas shop. I didn't even want your mother working in there, but she did, because it's a family so you're gonna business. This, so you're gonna make this about me? You're gonna act like this is my benefit? Or is this about mom? I always look in the best interest of you. Or is this you. about mom? I'm talking to you. Don't yell at me. I always look in the best interest of you. You can do better than that. Oh, you're going to menial labor. You got a college education. Use it. What would you have had me doing? You would have had me working lawns for you. Do I need a college degree for that? It's the same difference, isn't it? In a camera shop or doing lawns. Isn't it the same? But I'd much rather you be working for me until you found something that's quality. quality why would you? Why you, would you want me? Why would you want me with you? Because I want you with me. But I'd much rather you be out there and get into a business and something that's going to have a future. That canvas shop ain't got no future for you. Does it bother you that Uncle Larry's my boss? Yeah, it bothers me. I think he's got ulterior motive. Fucking <laughs> look at ulterior motive. What, what even is that? Don't worry, I got my own views on it. Is he going to adopt me? No, he's not going to adopt you, but there's other reasons. Okay, now you're just fucking paranoid. Oh, well, look, paranoid. if it feels a deal, Dad, no. if it feels a fucking deal, it's a you job. Have no idea I have to go. I have to go to West Bumble, which Wait, is 20 minutes drive. Wait, being paranoid. You got no idea what what life's all about out there, do you? You just go here, go there, float around. You don't know what's really going on out there. What people expect out of you. Here he goes. You, okay. Oh yeah, here he goes. You got no respect for anybody. You just think everybody should, everything should be given to you. No, I don't. I'm actually learning crazy things about stitching and sewing and grommeting and heat sealing. But well, where's that going to take you? What profession? It's getting me paid, and I thought that business I thought be there in another five to ten years. So what are you going to do then? I thought it would make you happy. I want you to do something that you can do forever. You got an education. Use it. Do you understand that? Why did you go to college? I have a job. You have a job. I don't want you working there. That's the bottom line. You know how fast it, it was to get it? You're not listening. I don't want you working there. Do you know how fast it was to get that job? Yeah. You, know you didn't do was. anything. You didn't do anything to get it. They took care of you. No, I had to do a full interview, and I gave him more information. Why'd you have to do a full inter interview? Because with your uncle? Yeah. You're up his ass the whole time, and he's up yours all the time. Why would you have to full interview? He probably freaking, you called him, he said, come on in. So what would you have me do then? I want you to get out there, put applications in. I want you to get a good job. That's what I want from you. So just because I got it with another family member, uh, I, it fulfills exactly what you wanted. I no, got a job. I leave the. I you leave just the house. you just got the quickest thing you could do. You got the quickest avenue to get a job, and now you're working there at the family business. Four hours. The places that I'm going to apply to are jobs like that because it's a starter job. A lot of places they're not going to hire you unless you have experience. No, it's you want what's ever easiest for you. That is true. No, I can't go working at this place that pays a lot of money because they require experience. And you can't get the fucking experience because okay. you don't have the job yet. Why are you yelling so loud? What I'm telling you now is that you have a college education, correct? Don't you? Yeah, for film. Which For is what I do. Who cares? It's more than most people have in this, this day and age. Apply. They ask, do you have college education? You say yes. How hard is it? One, two days, now you're working at the canvas company? I'm not quitting, Dad. You are quitting. I'm not. I'm not. I just got this job. We had a deal. I don't care. I want you gone. Look at me. 
What? Quit that looking at the ground. You asked me to get a job, I get a job. Now you ask me to not get a job? What the fuck is going on? You're better than this. Why do you have to go there? Just because it was easy? So you're giving me permission to quit and find a better job? I'm not That's giving you permission. I'm telling you to quit. I want you out of there. I want you to get out and apply for real jobs. And if I can't get one by the 31st, can I get an extension on that? Because no, I'm quitting this no, one, I would have a job right now! Just drop that job and apply for real jobs. And quit sticking it and, you know, always got to worry about and have freaking people take care of you all the time. I'm not having people take care of me. I finally yeah, got out. Went, you got scared and went right to family, didn't you? No. If you weren't worried about that, you couldn't work with me. No, it was. I wanted to go somewhere work and I also do videos. It, it, I, I wanted oh, to oh, so that's the knock. You got to get a job and make a living. Drop the video part of it. You can do that on the side. It's gonna be really hard to manage. It's it's to a point now where I can have a job and do what I love too. Right, but and I, it's true. But you don't have to do it at the job. Just drop this job. Walk in tomorrow and tell them you're done. And you honestly think that I can do better? There's no thinking. I know you can. Tomorrow, quit the job. And force yourself to get out there and find a really good job. Get out early. It's not easy. Go apply online. Whatever you got to do. I don't care place. how easy it's not. It's no, we don't live in a place where it doesn't easy. matter. You have a car. You have the internet. Apply. Visit people. There's nothing else. You got. You can go. You got gas in your car. Oh, yeah, I need to get it fixed too. So I'm, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll be a fucking mechanic. Maybe would that be respectable? Why? Mechanics are good, but don't be sitting there going right to fast. So that's family. better. That's better than working at Cam as a mechanic. Is that is, it, is that why? Yes. Because it's not family. I don't want you involved with that at all. So I'm telling you, you're done. Go in there tomorrow and quit. You're, making, you're better than that. You're making it so personal. I make it personal, they made it personal. You understand that. It's them against me. So I'm telling you quit. You got to the 31st. And what? So if I'm if I am still there, what? What? If I'm still at the canvas company, what? At the thir on the 31st. Things will happen. You're gonna destroy more of my shit? Don't, honestly, don't starting, even go there. Because honestly, it's starting not to matter anymore. Oh, it, it's not. What if you're out on the street again? You promised me you're going to get a job. And then all of a sudden, boom. A couple days later, you're working at the game shop. For peanuts. What am I going to... What am I going to tell them? What Just tell, tell them, them you what can't do it. you got to go out and find a better I'm job. Give them a reason. When you leave an employer, you got to give them a reason why. And what am I going to say? Can I put Angel... Tell them you're better than that. This is the first thing you jumped on! Did you actually apply other places? Look at me, quit looking over there! I... no. So, you didn't apply anywhere, you called up Uncle Larry, right? Hey Uncle Larry, can I get a job, right? No, no. But then how'd it work? Then how did it work? You did call him no, up and say I'm... I need a job, didn't you? You know what, if you want me to quit... I want you to quit. Then I'll quit. I, that's what I want. I want you to quit. I want you to be done. Tell them tomorrow. Tell them tomorrow. All right? Go in first thing or whatever time you start and tell them you're done. And to get out there and apply for jobs that you can use your education. All right? I will try my very best. All I ever ask of you. Don't be lazy either. Knock on doors, applications. Knock on doors? What the fuck is this, the 70s? I'm not gonna do that, Dad. You don't understand how... Okay, yeah, no. I'm, don't even I'm, go I'm, No, no I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, Knock on doors! I'll, okay, yeah, sure, I will. Yeah, and so what did you do? I will. So you're gonna do that tomorrow, correct? You're gonna I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell Uncle Larry, I'll tell him. I, I might not even go in, I'll just talk to him, I'll no. call Uncle Larry. You go in. 
That's a responsible adult. You go in and tell them that you're not going to work there anymore. I'm going to go to Uncle Larry's house and tell him about it. I don't care, but you do it in person. Yeah, I will. All right? I'll get there. It's done, right? Yes. Now you go clean this room, right? Do I have a choice? No, no you don't have a choice. Yeah, so, yeah, I will. All right, now we'll be back in a couple hours. Make sure it's done, all right? Yeah, a couple hours, fine. And in person tomorrow. I have it done in five minutes. Yeah, you're a broken record player. It's the only way you listen and understand. No. No, it's not how I listen and understand. It's literally, you fucking keep saying the same thing over and over again until I have no choice but to say yes. Drill it over and over. Until I can't fucking fight anymore. Hello, animal friends. I can't fucking win, man. I can't fucking win. I, I, I get a job. Make him happy? It doesn't make him happy, so he wants me to quit the job, and then what the f- Make up your goddamn mind! Jesus Christ, piece of shit! I just... I just did this. Yeah. I just did this. I am not putting on a fucking dress. Let me clean off the man's TV for him. Oh, you're not supposed to spray this directly on the screen? Ah, shit. Shit! Oh, you're not supposed to clean the deer! Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh, my bad! Oh, shit! Wait, no, he did! He did! He did want me to clean the deer! He's gonna tell me that tomorrow, because he can't make up his fucking mind. He changes his mind in the course of three days. If I do one fucking thing that he doesn't respect, he's gonna tell me and then I'm gonna have to do the other. It's a personal thing, it's a personal thing. That's all it is. Here you go, here you go, buddy. Oh, it's having a, it's having a chemical reaction. That's a shame. I just uh, ruined it. I think I know what I wanna clean. What? You talking about my fucking hair? Yes. <laughs> well, that's not a bad idea. But, um, ever since we rearranged this room, I've been really interested in that box. That? Yeah. Wait, do you not remember? Like, when we moved it, like, your dad was like, don't ever go in there. And I was like, why doesn't he want us to go in there? Oh, shit. That's the box. People, uh, people in the comments were, people have told me. Right. I mean, and I was like, I always something. was like, why the fuck are they calling the safe the box? Dude, that looks, that's one of those freaking like record. That's like what the, they keep records in. Not like record, like musical records. But he said not to go in there? Yeah. <laughs> so you want to go in so, there naturally? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you just, there's no cameras in oh, here, right? Fuck. And just open well, fuck it up. my curiosity, dude. You know I have some bad shit there. You know I'll, I'll, you know I have problems with authority too. We did just open it up and look real he quick. He me off. I, yeah. I'm not really afraid of the consequences at this point. I thought, I thought with how he was just then, I thought he had found what we did to save the old one uh, with the oh, cut. Yeah. I mean, she's like... No, um, no. I don't fucking... Okay, what... I... No. No. That was personal. I really like that job. And that's... That's me. That's me saying that. That I really like a job. And then he wants to... I just... No. I'm not fucking going through that whole process. That is bullshit that he changed the rules after the contract was signed. Exactly! Yeah, and, but I... I 
But but the, the, it's, it's stupid because the whole reason I signed it was to make him happy. So yeah. if I if you know if I can't make him happy, you, the contract regardless, then it, it almost becomes like void. Like if, if he's not happy, the contract the contract matters not. Exactly. So he can just do. He can have me do fucking anything. He can have me be his personal slave, bitch, and I would have to do that. Like I am. Right, I'm pretty There's nothing up there. There's no one with the camera. See, he's seeing shit up there. Because knowing his crazy ass, he'd fucking put something up there. Nothing? Well, I see. Come on, well, camera. I'm blurry now, but. Yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah. He's probably got a fucking old porn stash in here. Remember when we went <laughs> up in the attic and Aunt Jackie's oh, and Chuck had that fucking porn stuff? It would explain why it's in this dusty box. He hasn't jerked off in a while. Who knows? I don't know. Whatever, I don't know. Whatever's in there. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm kind of, I don't know, man. What if it, what if it's not good? What if it's something that we honestly shouldn't even be looking at? Or, or like, we can't even show on camera if it is porn. I mean, I'll just blur it out. Yeah, right. Probably something really stupid. Yeah, it's probably me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like a flag. Oh, that's hey. a flag, actually. I think I recognize this flag. This is older. At least it doesn't have the Betsy Ross shit on there. It's this cartridge. Keep out, keep out of reach of children. <laughs> what is this? Fucking candy. Maybe you should put those down. Uh, <laughs> so good with the comedic relief right now, Corn. It's really making. Nintendo cartridge in here. Those are my kneecaps. <laughs> what the hell is that in there? Mm -hmm. Jeffrey! It's a real fucking gun. Look, look, look. This? <laughs> Color the tip. Look. Look, see that hole? Yeah. That's BBs. That's BBs. These are props. Back in the day, we used to do that kind of shit. Shoot each other with airsoft guns. This. <laughs> okay. yes. This is a real fucking gun. It looked. It looked like the one he had outside. The one he, the one he had, that he got out of that safe in the basement. Remember what we saw on the, mm, uh, yeah. on the camera. Back up, please. Back up, please. I think, will you pull this? I'm trying to think. I mean, I've, I've only ever used um, the airsoft or uh, paintball very little, but even even just like guns and games, you know, guns and video mm -hmm. games, you know, like first person shooters and stuff. I'm trying to think like, or, or even like movies and stuff. 
Is it, what button do you press? To like... Is it... I think you should... To like, what, check it later? Yeah. It's usually somewhere near the handle. Yeah, it's empty. Holy oh. shit. Okay, all right, all right. We were never fucking in here. We were never in here, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> How was this? How was this? Uh, no, 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 no. This is not good because this is how my dad is. He's really fucking meticulous. Like, he knows. He'll know. Especially with this fucking gun. He'll know I was touching it. This. Oh, shit. Maybe. Right? Right? I think was that. I think I don't know moment. Ella, were you in here? Luna. Luna has, has once jumped up and opened the door the back door Ooh. she could have hit the latches she yeah. could have hit them off, off the or he could have just done it when he was drunk and doesn't remember or something maybe why did you have me look in that I, just, I didn't know there was going to be a gun in there that must have been where he put it so when we saw him, remember he went back to the safe and was picking everything up and then we never uh, saw the gun after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, What the fuck? <sighs> I've never felt a real gun before. It felt, <laughs> dude, it felt crazy. Like that thing, that's fucking legit metal. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't give me that look. I wasn't gonna shoot anything. I wasn't gonna shoot you, Ella. Oh God, I just did this shit. It's, when you have three dogs. It's never gonna be clean. That was, a, that was with the Nintendo thing. Oh, I never. Like we have the original Nintendo. Actually, no, we don't. Do we? I don't know. I know we have Super Nintendo now. Do you have just one game in there? I mean, I think that's all his. I don't think Jeffrey has. I don't think that's like Jeffrey's game. Because I'm pretty sure Jeffrey was kind of like included when he was like, "You guys don't touch that." Like I think he was talking to Jeffrey too. So I would imagine it was all his. Oh God! Why did you fucking have me look in that <laughs> shit? <laughs> I don't know, I was curious. I didn't know that I was going to be in there. Curiosity, what do they say? Uh, curiosity. Kill Garfunkel. <laughs> I'm going to keep thinking about that. I keep thinking about that. Fuck. I can't say I'm surprised. My dad has guns. Yeah, My dad I mean, has guns. He had guns, yeah. He's got, he's got fucking hunting guns galore. Never really seen the revolver like that. I think that's what it's called. God. I just told him I'd quit. I mean, I think, I think you had to. I didn't really think he was gonna give up until he. I mean, no, it get, I know, but it gets to a point though where what is the point? Yeah, well, I mean, it's definitely bullshit, but. What is the point? It was the point actually me getting a job, or is it something else? It was the point was me getting a job, me. Well, okay, YouTube, whatever. I know his fucking mentality towards that. But at the canvas company, it's really just gotta be a fucking personal thing towards, I don't know, my mom or Uncle Larry. I don't even get to see my mom yet. Which maybe is not necessarily a bad thing, but... I know! I should probably take them out too. So that way John or uh, Luna doesn't shit on here. How's Uncle Larry gonna take that? I'm gonna have to tell him. I'm gonna have to tell him my dad did this. Oh, that's what I would do. Because if I don't, he's gonna be like, Yeah, what? what? But I don't wanna throw my dad under the bus also. Because that could bite me in the ass later on. No matter what, I fucking lose over and over again. I would say my dad doesn't want me working here. 
Oh yeah, I would have no problems yeah. doing that. But it's just you know I'm starting to get to a point where I know better to not talk talk bad about them. I mean, Uncle Larry, he might even know without me saying it. I did really, I, I do really enjoy it. I shouldn't quit. I mean, I'm still doing YouTube. I don't know. I don't like this life stuff. It's actually really hard. School. School I could do. You could just go to class. You know, high school changed the game because you actually had to pick your classes and you had a little bit of a sure. choice and a decision to make. It's true. But at least everything was kind of set out in front of you. And when it came time for college, I didn't know. And Jeffrey had gone to school at Verona and I tried to, I went there. But then after college, I don't know what to do. If I have to actually get a job job, I don't know where to apply. I don't know what to do. I can't leave my house, so it has to be something in the area. I'm not commuting like an hour. Mechanics is nice. I can do better though. I can, can I? Even just for a bullshit job. I say bullshit, but I shouldn't say that. If it's, I'm gonna be working there. I need to enjoy it somewhat. It's just crazy though. When you leave school and then you're just left not knowing what to do and it's just, who do you listen to? Do you listen to yourself? What if you don't know? Then do you have to listen to others? Who knows what's right? All right, I'm gonna end this. I need some thinking, some think time. I was supposed to be relaxing tonight, but it looks like I'm gonna have some things on my mind. Just don't worry about the dual stream. We're not gonna yeah. do that. I know what I have to do. I, ha I do have to quit. I think my dad is kind of right there, I say. If he actually meant that, if he thinks I can do better, but he said I could be a mechanic. You could be a mechanic, and then things will be good. So clearly he's full of shit. All right, geez. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter stream links in the description. I hate, I hate this, because you know, sometimes when you leave the camera on, I just start saying things that probably you guys shouldn't be hearing, because I can be kind of negative sometimes. It used to be really easy. It used to be really easy to be like smiling for you guys and to be like, everything's gonna be good. But sometimes when you know the darkness hits and, and, and things hit the fan, it's really hard. It's really hard to put that smile on and act like things are okay. YouTube is a funny thing. All right, Jays, like this video, please. Love you, Jays, to death, and I'll be unemployed as of tomorrow, so yeah, the hunt begins. I'm about to say fuck all and just go to Juliet's for the weekend. That may happen. I do know she has a recital Sunday, which I was just gonna go for, but maybe I'll stay a couple days. Maybe I'll even consider going back to school. I don't know. It's an open door. All right, Jays. Love you all to death. And don't forget to keep it rigid. <laughs> Do you want to grab? I think we got a second roll of paper towels. Okay. Sure. Or you just grab right from that roll. Sooner we done, the sooner we play some mic. <laughs> Drew. Tell you, man. Hey, I got a level 30, so. Yeah. Pro, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely won't fucking respect that. Uh, I don't want to vacuum. I really don't want to vacuum. Oh, we strapped the vacuum, dude. <laughs> I wish I was a dog.